this kind of leads into my next question. It's a follow up from last week. You mentioned too, like when you start off with Sabu and everything, you were initially were sparked by going to Killer Kowalski's school. Like, what kind of gave you that incentive to do to maybe go there instead of working with the Sheik at first? Like, what was the reasoning that you were going to make that trip over to uh, Massachusetts? That right? right? Is that where right? You're right. Okay. So, you know, I had gotten the list of all these pro wrestling schools that I uh, ordered from a wrestling magazine. I sent them five bucks. They sent me this list and there was 40 some schools. And then I think there might've been one in Hawaii, a couple of Canada. Um, and there was some phone numbers and there was some addresses. So I was corresponding to the ones that had the addresses and I would call and I was going through the whole list while I was still in high school. Wow. Cause I was going to be a pro wrestler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, um, when I was still 18, had graduated high school. I had talked to a bunch of them, you know, and when I talked to Kowalski, he just, he sounded like, like some of the things that were important to me when I was looking at wrestling schools were one, the, uh, the tuition was important, you know, cause there was a huge difference between uh, two grand and 10 grand. You know what I mean? Right. Um, the credibility, you know, of the trainer who who is he trained how long has he been around what's he done in the business and um and another thing that was important you know was how long would the school take which i learned was totally going to depend on the individual the first thing, yeah. that was the one thing i didn't like about kowalski when i asked him uh well, well anyway i ended up taking a trip to go see kowalski bought a plane ticket first you know time going by myself anywhere flying to Boston and uh and it was all arranged Kowalski picked me up from the airport he was so cool took me to a school he was training me and stuff and I asked him how long uh you know does your school take you know till uh to till, till the course is done and and he said he said you're never done he said you're always learning and I was like oh that doesn't sound very good <laughs> <laughs> you know and he said some of these schools say they, they they train you and they're out in six months he said you don't even know how to tie your boots in six months and, and I remember I was like wow that you know that's the one thing I don't like about it but I got to see him work out with uh the class and uh and, and learn about him you know all the pictures on the wall and the history of him all that it it just it was something i could imagine me doing so i was gonna come back and get a job somewhere and get an apartment somewhere even though i'd never done that before uh but that was my plan to to make it work so uh as luck would have it i was saving up for that when i found out that the uh original chic only lived 45 minutes from my parents' house where I was residing and that he, I eventually learned eventually that he and Kayla Kowalski both got trained by the same guy who was Burt Ruby. So that was interesting that it it trickled trickled down to me that way. Yeah. How about that? And you may even just making the trip was just like uh, further motivation. I'm sure like to be like, Hey, this is what the fuck I want to do, you know? Yeah, it was, yeah, I was like, I got to show my mom and dad I'm serious about this. Otherwise, they're going to want me to go to college or join the army or some something, you know. And uh, so let me go check it out and, and start this thing and, uh, you know, see how it see how it does for me. 